Greetings, Heroes of Dominion. Zeus here with another exciting video. Today, we're diving into a detailed comparison between two of the most renowned healers in Hero Wars, Martha and Thea. Both heroes bring unique abilities to the table, and understanding their strengths and weaknesses can help you decide which healer is best suited for your team. Let's break down their skills and see who comes out on top as the better healer. Martha increases all allies' speed for 6 seconds, which can be invaluable in battles where speed determines the outcome. This skill ensures that her team can dish out more damage and act faster, giving them a tactical advantage. By enhancing the attack speed of all allies, Martha boosts her team's overall performance significantly. In contrast, Thea's Solar Sanctuary provides a quick burst of healing to all allies, which can be crucial during moments of intense damage. This healing skill scales with Thea's magic attack, making it very effective in quickly restoring health to the entire team. Martha's basic attacks heal her when a projectile hits an enemy, with the amount of healing increasing the farther the projectile travels. This self-sustaining skill ensures that Martha remains in the fight longer, without needing additional healing from other heroes. Positioning Martha to maximize the distance her projectiles travel can lead to substantial self-healing. Thea focuses her power on the ally with the least health, healing them, with a relatively short cooldown of 10 seconds. This targeted healing provides frequent support to the most vulnerable ally. Additionally, the Ascension version of this skill reduces the damage taken by the healed ally by 50% for 5 seconds, adding a protective layer. Martha conjures a totem that restores allies' health continuously for 8 seconds, with a cooldown of 15 seconds. This totem cannot be targeted by enemies but can take out damage. The consistent healing provided by the totem is a game-changer in prolonged fights, keeping the entire team sustained. Thea applies silence to enemies for 3 seconds, preventing them from using their skills. This control skill can disrupt enemy strategies and provide a significant advantage to your team. Although it has a longer cooldown, 21 seconds, the ability to silence enemies can be pivotal during crucial moments in a battle. While the totem is active, the ally with the least health receives additional healing, ensuring that the most vulnerable ally gets the necessary support to stay in the fight. This additional healing per second can make a significant difference, especially in critical moments. Thea passively increases the speed of allies whose health is below 30%. This passive speed bonus can be very beneficial, especially in close fights where the extra speed can help allies escape dangerous situations or finish off enemies faster. Martha's artifact, Zarakari Teapot, gives a bonus of 50k armor to the entire team for 9 seconds. This is incredibly valuable when battling against physical damage dealers, as it significantly reduces the damage taken by your team, making them more resilient. Thea's artifact, Staff of Rebirth, provides a bonus of 50k magic defense to the entire team for 9 seconds. This is invaluable when facing magic damage dealers, as it significantly reduces the damage taken from magical attacks, providing a crucial advantage against magic heavy teams. Martha's higher health and slightly higher armor make her more durable against physical damage dealers like Ju and Kayla, who target the backline. When Martha is in the team, Ju and Kayla find it hard to kill her because of her self-healing, armor boost from Zarakari Teapot, and general tankiness. Conversely, Thea, with her lower health, is more vulnerable to these physical damage dealers and can be easily taken out if targeted. On the other hand, when facing magic damage dealers like Amira, Thea's artifact, Staff of Rebirth, shines. It provides a significant boost in magic defense, helping the entire team withstand Amira's powerful magic attacks. Thea's healing and protective skills also provide a robust defense against heroes like Heidi, who deal pure damage. Thea can heal and shield her team, making it harder for Heidi to secure kills. Martha's healing output is designed for sustained support over time through her totem, Tea Party, 
and additional healing from Healing Brew. The continuous healing provided by the totem can be very effective in keeping the entire team healthy throughout prolonged engagements. Additionally, her secret of longevity skill allows her to heal herself, ensuring she remains in the fight longer. Thea, on the other hand, provides burst healing through Solar Sanctuary and targeted healing through Healing Beam. Solar Sanctuary's O healing can provide a quick health boost to all allies, which is extremely useful in situations where the team takes significant damage simultaneously. Healing Beam's focused healing ensures the most vulnerable ally gets immediate support, and the damage reduction provided by Radiant Healing Beam keeps them alive longer. Martha's abilities are designed for sustainability. Her totem provides a continuous source of healing, and the additional healing from Healing Brew ensures that the most damaged ally gets extra support. This makes Martha exceptionally good in long battles where sustained healing is required to keep the team alive. Thea's healing is more about immediate support. Solar Sanctuary provides an instant health boost to all allies, which can be crucial in critical moments. Healing Beam's frequent use and the damage reduction it provides to the target ally add a layer of protection. However, Thea's sustainability is slightly lower compared to Martha, as her skills are more burst-oriented. Both heroes offer additional utility beyond healing. Martha's foremother's oath increases the speed of all allies, giving them a tactical advantage. Thea's vow of silence can disrupt enemy strategies by preventing them from using their skills, and Second Wind provides a passive speed boost to allies in critical health, helping them escape or finish off enemies. Martha's Zarakari Teapot boosts the team's armor by 50k for 9 seconds, providing substantial protection against physical damage. This makes Martha especially valuable against teams with strong physical attackers. Thea's Staff of Rebirth boosts the team's magic defense by 50k for 9 seconds, offering significant protection against magic damage. This makes Thea particularly effective against teams with powerful magic dealers. Martha fits well into teams that benefit from sustained healing and increased attack speed. Her totem and speed boost can complement various team compositions, especially those that rely on continuous pressure and long fights. Thea, with her burst healing and control capabilities, fits well into teams that need immediate support and can capitalize on the disruption caused by silence. Her targeted healing and damage reduction also make her a good fit for protecting key allies. Choosing the better healer between Martha and Thea ultimately depends on your team's needs and the battle scenario. Martha excels in providing sustained healing and increasing the attack speed of her allies. Her abilities are designed to keep the team healthy over extended periods, making her ideal for long, drawn-out battles where continuous support is essential. Martha's healing totem ensures that your team remains healthy over time and can handle prolonged engagements effectively. Her artifact adds substantial armor, making her team more resilient against physical damage. Thea, on the other hand, shines in situations where immediate, burst healing is required. Her Solar Sanctuary can quickly heal the entire team, which can be a lifesaver in moments of intense damage. Healing Beam's targeted healing, combined with the damage reduction it provides offers focused support to the most vulnerable ally. Thea's ability to silence enemies can disrupt opposing strategies, and her passive speed boost helps allies in critical health situations. Her artifact enhances the team's magic defense, making her particularly effective against magic-heavy teams. In conclusion, if your team needs sustained healing and benefits from increased attack speed, Martha is the better choice. She ensures that your team remains healthy over time and can handle prolonged engagements effectively. However, if your team requires burst healing and can take advantage of control abilities, Thea is the better healer. Her skills provide immediate support and can significantly disrupt enemy plans, while her artifact enhances the team's resilience against magic damage. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, 
Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and strategies. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences, so share them in the comments below. Your feedback helps us create better content for the Hero Wars community. May your battles echo through eternity. Until next time, Heroes of Dominion, keep fighting and stay victorious.